Hello and good evening. This is the Daily News podcast. I'm Navya Singh and here are the most important news that deserve your attention today. Let's get started. The majority of the top news today revolves around the growing anti-China sentiment in India. To begin with, Indian intelligence agencies have asked the government to block or advise people to stop use of as many as 52 mobile applications linked to China over concerns that these weren't safe and ended up extracting a large amount of data outside India. Now, the list of applications sent by the security establishment to the government includes video conferencing app Zoom, short video app TikTok, among several other apps. In another major news, the telecom ministry has ordered state-run telecoms, which includes BSNL, MTNL and other private companies to ban all the Chinese deals and equipment. The companies have been asked to avoid Chinese equipment in the upgradation process of their services by the department. Now, China, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the most significant exporters of telecom equipment to India, and this decision is likely to impact the 4G upgradation purchase process. Reportedly, government service providers have been directed to modify conditions in such a way that Chinese companies are not able to participate in the tender process. As the protests demanding boycott of Chinese products in India grow louder, the Confrontation of All India Traders on Wednesday released a list of more than 500 Chinese products to be boycotted. Now, this decision came a day after it was revealed that at least 20 Indian army personnel were killed in action during a violent clash with their Chinese counterparts along the line of actual control in Ladakh's Galwan Valley. Now, products on the boycott list include fast-moving consumer goods, consumer durables, toys, furnishing fabrics, textiles, among other items. The trader's body has said in a statement that the 500 items that have been selected for boycott do not require advanced technology for manufacture and can therefore be produced in India. Shifting focus to the effect of the COVID-19 pandemic, the International Labour Organization in its recent report estimated that amid the deadly coronavirus pandemic, more than 55 million domestic workers across the globe are at risk of losing their jobs and income. According to the ILO, the domestic workers in Southeast Asia and Pacific were the most affected because of the unprecedented lockdown and lack of effective social security coverage. The organization also estimated that vast majority, nearly 37 million of these domestic workers are women. Ending the news segment with some good news, India has been elected to the United Nations Security Council as a non-permanent member from the Asia-Pacific category for a period of two years with an overwhelming majority of 184 votes out of 192. Now, this was the eighth time that India has been elected to the UNSC and will sit in the UN body for two years beginning January 1st. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday said that he was deeply grateful after India was elected unopposed as a non-permanent member of the UNSC. India has said that forging a new orientation for reformed multilateral system will be its mission for its eighth term as a non-permanent member of the UN Security Council. That's all for today. I'll be back with some more important news tomorrow. Till then, stay safe, stay logical.